Hello everyone, I'm Zen and welcome back to Another Winter Nights. Yes, basically it's still the same game. However, we will be playing one of the premium modules. We only get two left actually. We've got Shadow Guard and the Witch's Wake. I mean, I don't think those two would be connected in any way to Kingmaker because, I mean, it's designed by different people, so eh, whatever. Let's get the Shadow Guard and we will change our character a little bit. I mean, I've already made one. Uh, uh, which one is it? Is, is this one? Yeah, it's this one. This is based on Charisma. Yep. We've changed pickpockets. Where is it? Uh, oh yeah, since I get a zero or something, I don't, I don't see it. But whatever, we've changed pickpocket for use magic device because it's gonna be a little bit more useful, I think. So we are Bello Jordan Spain. Huh. I run the mind the name, so we wouldn't know. Okay, whatever. Those are... Ah, from the end of Game Maker. Well, whatever. Oh, okay. Okay then. I look slightly different. I do have some kind of equipment here. Burial padded armor. Packaged rations. Oh, it seems a little bit different. For a single day of adventuring, most nobles and merchants use this sort of food pack while traveling out in the wilds of the Empire. Okay... Oh, okay, this is nice. And we have some burial padded armor. It's like plus one, plus eight. Let's see, short sword. Okay, that's great. Let's level up. Oh yeah, because we start at level 3, so... Yeah. That's great then. We are gonna get as much of the abilities we do now. Oh. So we get plus 1 AC actually from this. We get full health. That's nice. Evasion. And one more. Of course, those are the same. This, 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 this. I know this. Um, okay, and we do want weapon finesse. Because it, we need base attack bonus plus one, so. Uh, we get uncanny dodge, which is, which is nice. And we get a better sneak attack. Not not too sure how good will this build will be. I'm not sure, I've never played this, so. Oh we got max HP too. I guess maybe the first few levels are with max HP and then something else happens. Not sure. Oh we are level three. This is the eternal spirit, the eternal something something. 17 AC. That's not too bad, not too good. Uh, nothing else really. Okay, let's talk with him. Hello, ghost. Uh, am I a ghost too? Am I dead? Greetings to you, wandering spirit. And welcome to the halls of fate. I am the eternal spirit, keeper of the flames of fate, and I welcome you to my realm. Soon you shall depart this realm to enter the world of Abaran. Taking the mortal form of a young human man named Delo Jorinspain. There, you shall begin the shaping of your destiny. Oh. Ah, shit. Okay. I clicked. I somehow clicked outside of the window. Not sure how. Uh, okay. It seems a little bit strange because somehow I um, maybe take control of a human or will I be a small human will I become a baby are you ready to pass through the veil of time and enter the world of Abaran yeah sure I mean I don't really have anything else to do here sure 
Prepare yourself then, young mortal, for you shall now be sent into Avaran to begin the fulfillment of your destiny. With a great wave of the Eternal Spirit's spectral hand, your vision is covered in darkness. Oh, I'm being summoned somewhere. Okay. For a large portion of my young life, I had come to age in the Ooh. southern cities of the Sharakan Empire, trained among the advanced academies of the Empire's heartlands, leaving my childhood among those peaceful lands. Okay. My father's name was Okaris, and he was a general of the Sharakan army who enjoyed the favor of Emperor Raka. His fame ensured my mother and I had few wishes which went unfulfilled, and we lived a life of luxury and ease. Ooh, this is nice. We have our own voice, more or less. I saw very little of my father himself, however. Always campaigning with his men in the north, my father was not one for the simple pleasures of home, and years would pass between his visits to see my mother and me. Ooh, that's not a, not a good thing. The mother was very left alone for a very long time. She had a lover, I'm sure. I must confess I had little desire to know my father much further than the visiting stranger he had become, and it always seemed to me that he felt much the same way. <laughs> but destiny often takes strange turns we do not expect, and in the year 1370 my mother took ill to the Red Plague spreading throughout the south. Within three months she was dead, leaving me alone upon our rich plantation. Okay. My father had recently taken the position of ruling magistrate over the city of Garak, an imperial colony along the outermost fringes of the wild frontier known as the Northern Reaches. Mm -hmm. His duties keeping him as busy as they did, my father barely arrived in time to share a few last words with my mother before she departed this world forever. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm pr probably not very happy with my father, am I? After my mother's funeral, my father and I were left with the awkward decision of what fate would befall me. In many ways, I would have preferred to stay upon our plantation home in the south and make my own destiny. But my father had other ideas. At his bidding, I was brought to live among the Imperial citizens of Garak to finish my training at the Imperial Academy under my father's care. Okay. Life upon this wild land proved very different from that of the civilized cities of the South, and I felt quite alone among my new home in Garak. Though we now lived within the walls of the same city, I saw my father little more than I had before, for he was always on official business with his duties as the city's magistrate. Okay. Still, my time was not completely wasted, and I worked night and day to finish my training at the Imperial Academy, in the hope that I might yet be free to make my way in the world as my own man. Mm -hmm. Unbeknownst to me at the time, life was soon to take a turn that would change my fate forever. Oh, I'm really liking this so far. <laughs> Looking back on it now, I can see that it all began on that fateful day when I was summoned to the Imperial Academy to perform my graduation ceremony. Okay, what do I learn in the academy? I, am I a student of law or what? Oh. Ge Geos. Geos. The elderly servant of your father's, father's household rushes forward and bows before you. You notice that your father is suspiciously missing from his side. My lord, I see you have arrived for the graduation ceremony here at the academy. I know your father must be proud to have, yes, have a son such as you today. Mm. I mean, I hope so. I th I'm concerned by his absence. I just couldn't not imagine your father would fail to be here to witness such a grand event. In fact, I would wager he is on his way here even as we speak. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, why would we be an asshole? I mean, we are chaotic. We are good. But that doesn't mean we are some kind of asshole. We care for ourselves, but we won't kill anyone to get what we want. Surely. I won't be holding my breath. Magistrate Okaris will be here, fellow. I am certain he would not miss the graduation of his only son from the Imperial Academy. In fact, I believe I shall go find your father right now, and see what is taking him so long. The ceremony will begin soon, and I'm sure he is merely tied up with some menial business. Why don't you go speak with Instructor Jarvis, and begin the graduation ceremony? I shall return momentarily with Magistrate Ocaris, surely in time to see you accept your honors. Hmm... 
Okay, very well. Please ensure my father comes soon. Gills gives you a wink and a smile. I'll have Magistrate Ocaris here before you know it, Dello. Though with a further word, Joe's bows in farewell and departs quickly from the Academy's walls. Oh, there's still the cutscene, okay. Alright now, line up. Oh, I, okay. It's now time to begin the ceremony. Oh, okay, that's not the right voice for this portrait, that's okay. Instructor Jarvis is a thin, sallow man with a sh with sharp facial features. Greets you with a smile as your coach. Ah, you're ready to join us, Tello. Begin the uh, magistrate's own. Ah, being the magistrate's own son is a burden, all on its own, isn't it? Welcome, everyone. This is an exciting moment for our small academy, as today marks an end of your training under this roof. All that remains is for you to claim the citizenship that is now yours by right. Oh! So unless I finish my training at the academy, I can't be a citizen? That's... That's interesting. But the morning is growing short and it's imperative that we begin. Lord Darrow, as a son of the Magistrate, will you do your classmates the honor of leading this ceremony? Yeah, sure. I mean, I won't stop just because my father's missing. Citizenship of, in the Sharakan Empire is an important rite of passage. Upon becoming a citizen, you will find many new obligations that will fall upon your able shoulders. The most important of these obligations is that of judgment. In times of need, the Empire will come upon you to judge the actions of your peers. As, as a citizen, only you can decide what is right and what is wrong. Judge well, for the day may come when you too are judged. Do we judge people after death? That's a little bit... Huh. For his crimes against the Empire, Yakir the Black was put to death by the sword. Our great Emperor Rakha has seen fit to hold Yakir's soul in keeping for your judgment. Delo Jorinsbane, uh, son of Akaris Jorinsbane, it is you who must pronounce sentence on Yakir's soul. Is he to be held in Raka's eternal keeping or he is to have his place in hell? Both are punishments of a sort, but the judgment must be yours. Oh. Huh, I mean, both are really, really, really bad. Can you explain the judgment in more detail? Of course. Yakir's fate is in your hands, just as the fate of the Empire lies in the hands of its citizens. The judgment is only one of many duties. A citizen is obligated to, but many consider it to be the most important. To complete the judgment, you must go to the altar and place your hands upon the Stone of Judgment. The Stone will ask you for your decision and then abide by it. Come speak to me once you have finished the task. Okay. Instructor Jarvis smiles softly at you and nods his head. I'm sure you shall do fine, Dello. There are no wrong answers in the judgment, but as you speak on behalf of your classmates, I urge you to discuss his fate with them. Okay, so those are my classmates. Jantos the Inventor and Alia. First, let's talk to Alia. Hello, Hello there. Hi, Dello. Aren't you excited? It's our final day as lowly subjects of the Empire and our first as true citizens. Or at least it will be as soon as we can get the, through this ceremony. Is there any way I can help with the judgment? Okay, what judgment would you cast? It's so clear, but on the other hand, it's so complicated. I mean, Emperor Rakha has my trust and respect and I know he only does what is right, but then why would he even allow us a choice? If I'm to judge by my conscience, then I think his spirit should be set free and allowed to travel to heaven or hell in accordance with the natural spirit cycle. Oh, what do you mean by that? Blah blah blah. Yakir is a heinous criminal, an abomination to your precious nature, not a part of it. Uh, if Raka holds him to his plane, to this plane, it's for good reason. Ask me about the spirit cycle, Jantos. Uh, so kindly keep your comments to yourself. 
You see, Dello, as we pass through the cycle of life and death, and rebirth, it's natural. Uh, it's a natural process and helps maintain balance of the world. People are born and like they make their choices to summon the seeds of imbalance in the world. In death, the balance is restored through the blessings and punishments of heaven and hell, so they can be reborn, pure and new, into the world. To trap him here, away from heaven or her hell, preserve that imbalance. If he is as evil as Jantus claims, then you have made the world more evil by keeping him here. Don't you see, Jantus? Hogwash! He made his bed and he should lie in it. Alia! If he really is going to be reborn like claim, he'll just make the same choices all over again, and how many other people will lose their families over it? Don't let it happen, Dello, I beg you. I mean, I mean, somehow I was a spirit and I came into this world, so... I mean, I don't know who I was before I was, uh, Dello, so... Are you alright? Oh, I'm sorry, Jantos. I know the memories this must be dredging up, your, up for you. I thought you had finally put your anger over the, what happened to your parents to rest. I apologize. Please forgive my outburst, both of you. I have strong opinions on this matter, but it's not my place to force them onto you, onto either of you. Especially when you've been such good friends to me. Please, let's get on with this judgment. Glad to have your parents here. Asshole, only she has her parents. Male commoner and female commoner. Excuse me. Okay, so I have decided I will cast him to hell. Altar of Judgment. Rested upon the stone surface of this altar lies a glowing orb that you recognize as the as an orb of judgment. Oh, okay, we can't go sideways. Um, these magical devices are used in the imperial courts to punish criminals according to the precepts of Raka's law. The orb of judgment shines with a brilliant glow, beckoning you to lay your hands upon its smooth surface. Okay. As you touch the... Oh, at your touch, the orb of judgment glows even brighter. You feel its soothing warmth overcome you and your gaze is drawn to the wispy form of a nearby rat. A soft voice speaks within your mind. Before you stands the spirit of Yakir the Black, a full murderer whose bloody spree claimed the lives of countless subjects of the Empire. Women, children included, it lies uh, in your hands, citizen, to determine his spirit's fate. Almighty Raka currently holds the spirit here, safe from the punishments of hell which even the wicked do not deserve. But the Emperor will bend his hand at your will, either holding Yakir here for all eternity or sending him to hell should quest it. Oh, okay, so, I mean, those are two choices, either Raka has him, or he goes to hell, but this is a di difference. I mean, he's a full murderer, so he should, he should go to hell, or we'll give him to hell because Raka doesn't deserve to hold him, grant him hell. I think this one should be fine. I mean, we are free spirit, right? Maybe he would reincarnate and be a good person. Person. Maybe if he doesn't reincarnate, he's gonna haunt everyone. Yeah. You have done me a great service, mortal. My people are in debt for it, in your debt for it. Oh. Okay. The ethereal shackles holding the spirit in place dissolve, and Yakir is quickly pulled into the depths of the underworld. Where he rightfully belongs. The light. Yeah, we are more chaotic. The light of the orb of judgment has dimmed. With the sentencing of Yakir's spirit now complete, it appears its purpose is fulfilled. fulfilled. Okay. Uh, why is it not. Okay, yeah. 
I'm not sure why didn't the camera move. Okay, yeah. Hello, Jarvis. Hello. I see you have sentenced Yakir to his fate. You have served Rakas well with your actions. Are you ready to continue this ceremony? Yeah, sure. The judgment is complete. Yakir's spirit has been banished and shall find suffering in the hells until its penance has been served. Lord Dello joins Bane. Ah, shit, I changed the voice. Though I do not appreciate your outburst, outburst I shall let it be known that you have fulfilled your obligation to the Empire. As Lord Jorin's Bane has spoken on behalf of all the class, all the class shall taste of Raka's gratitude. Each of you shall uh, has acted in service to the Empire. The Emperor gives uh, three crests by which we can serve him all the better. They are the crests, crest of the Guardian, the Enforcer and the Redeemer. Which do you choose? Alia. Oh, so we can check. I can use its healing properties, the pain of the force and its creatures. Crest has powers of healing. You can use it to regenerate health over time and to heal moderate wounds instantly. It can be used only once a day, but its power is everlasting, as are all the powers of the crests. I come across wounded creatures in the forest many times and too often there, there is little I can do. With the Redeemer's Crest, perhaps I can be of greater help. Thank you, Instructor Jarvis. A good choice, Alia. May both your crests and the citizenship serve you well. Now, Jantus, which crest do you choose? I... I think I want the Guardian uh, Crest, but, well, the power of the Enforcer Crest is so tempting. I could fortify the offensive strength of my golems with it, but... Oh, okay. What's the Guardian for? The Guardian Crest will raise a magic shield over whoever can, I can choose. I choose. It is a great defensive tool that can deflect the blows of those who seek to cause harm. I've always been a little on the frail side, so maybe I should take this one. Jantos is correct, but the crest has an additional power. It can also raise a separate shield to defend against those who wield magic. With both powers acti active, it is a defensive tool against a wide spectrum of foes. And what does the Enforcer do? The Enforcer is a wonderful offensive tool. With it you can enchant a weapon with a rift of magical flame. Can you imagine how much that might improve my golems? That sounds truly terrifying, Jantus. Please, Instructor Jarvis, make him take the Guardian. Oh, Jantus, don't you see that your safety is so much more important than the power of those soulless toys you seem to be so obsessed with? All of the crests offer considerable power, and that is why they are only given to those who have achieved full citizenship. Only those who truly serve the Emperor came to be trusted with such tools. Okay, what's what about my my turn? Please, Jantos, take the Guardian Crest. Your golems don't need any more power. You, however, do need some amount of protection. Curse you, Alia. I'll take the Guardian Crest if you're so concerned, but don't think you can keep me from finding ways to make my creations more powerful. Best way to protect the city is to make those who guard it as strong as possible. I mean, that's that's a valid point. An excellent choice, Jantos. I do believe the Guardian Crest would serve you best, though your point about the city's protection is well taken. Now, Dello. It is your turn to decide which power will you wield as a citizen of the Empire. Okay, this is kind of difficult. I mean, we could take the Guardian Crest and be a little bit more protected. I have 17 AC right now. So, that's that. Uh, but being able to do more damage would ultimately result in less hits against me, so I would survive better? Yeah. Enforcer. I'm gonna take the, the one that neither of them chose. With the crest of the Enforcer at your side, you shall purge the uh, Empire of its enemies. Are you comfortable with your choice? Yeah. Very well. Then let us begin the closing ceremony. I'm sure you are all eager to explore your new powers and the new role you shall play as citizens of the Spine Empire. 
Yay! This rite of passage now draws to a close, though you have all grown as subjects of the Empire. Only now have you become its official citizens. My congratulations to all of you. Well, I suppose I should return to my work on the golems. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Come, let's find you to an inn. Okay. Oh, this, that was the mother. Oh, there's more. I am sure your father will be very proud once he receives words of your citizenship, Dello. This is quite the achievement, after all. Uh... Perhaps so, but I wish he had been here to see me accept the honors. I am sure these, there must have been some sort of pressing business that interfered with his attendance, Dello. It meant so much to him, he would not have missed this e event. Even of our trivial matter. If you say so, I'm not really that convinced, but... I see this is, there's little I can do to change your mind, so let us drop the matter for now. I have other news which may yet lift your spirits. One of the Empire's elite organizations seems to have taken an interest in you. It is an honor given to very few of your uh, young age. Oh, who is it? The Shadow Guard. I mean, she should probably not capitalize a little in the middle, or maybe make a space here. The Shadow Guard, a force in Raka's direct service. Very little is known about them, and I will not bias you with the few rumors I have heard. Suffice to say, their service to the Empire has been a shining light in the dark times. Oh, okay. I I wanted to say in the darkness, but. In dark times, yeah. Though I have rarely been impressed by your wild and unruly behavior here at the Academy, however, it seems your position as son of Ma Magistrate Ocaris Jorinsbane has drawn a great deal of attention to you. Your actions reflect the training of the Academy. As such, I would like for you to make a good impression on the Shadow Guard. A man named Marcus Al uh, Albright. Malchus Albright is waiting for you in the market. He told me to guide you his way. Should you succeed and gain acceptance into the Shadow Guard, your power and renown will be equaled only by your father's. If there was ever a time you wished to explore the Empire outside Garak, uh, this is your opportunity. Farewell for now, Dello, and take this tome as a parting gift from me. This is the Chronicles of Our World. Abaran, and you will do well to study it. Let it be let your guide in all that comes for the lessons uh, of the past are our lessons for our future. Raka's blessing upon you, child. Uh, well, Instructor Jarvis. Okay. Okay, great. Oh, there's, there's a statue of Empire, Emperor Raka. We did get this crest. Oh, this is basically a flame weapon. Okay. It's, I think... I mean, I don't really want to use it. Because it's... Uh, because if we rest, we have to use one of those. Okay. Okay, this is... I mean, uh, this is nice. The only cutscenes here, no fighting, but... Hey, this is the beginning of a new campaign. More or less. Probably, probably a short one, but eh, whatever. So, thank you very much for watching, and remember, if you liked it, push the like button. If you disliked this episode, push the dislike button. If you want to see more of my videos in the future, subscribe to the channel. So, until next time.